Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers and welcome to Farmers Dynasty. Well, I am one of the lucky ones that got access to the closed beta version 0.9963. Uh, since my last recording, when I made that video, right after that, on the discussion forum on Steam, uh, the developers had, uh, well, a lottery, I guess you could say, or call it, on the discussion forum, if you typed in a certain word, uh, they were give, going to give access to a certain amount of people to the closed beta. They didn't really say how many, so yeah, I, I'm one of them that got it. I don't know how many actually got it. Uh, you could be one of the lucky ones yourself. So we're going to take what's uh, in the closed beta. Now, just remember, just remember, you know, what you see here could change. Uh, first thing is we're going to see here. I just logged in. I haven't been around anything, checked anything out, so I'm going to see it same as you. Um, but there's two things I have to keep in mind. Um, <laughs> I just I just built a brand new PC, and this is the first time I've been into Farmer's Dynasty on my new it was my new PC build. So the graphics are always going to look better already. Uh, but the main thing is the characters. There's a whole new character change. When you talk to characters, apparently the Mel's will move along with them. Uh, new character models are all. Were you like waving me over? So if we talk to, this is Ella. I never met Ella before, but you can see she's got different clothes on. Apparently they can talk. change clothes. Hmm? Hand gestures. Um, Did you hear the latest news? I heard there's someone new around, but haven't seen him yet. Standing right in front of you. So it was probably kind of hard to see, but she, when she was talking, her mouth was moving. Is there something I can help you with? No. Not at the moment. But the character models are looking a lot better. Uh, even I look different. Nice weather, ain't it? It they sure can, is. When I'm talking, you see my mouth moving. When she talks, her mouth moves. Thanks. See you around. Uh, the clothes do look better. Apparently, that some of the characters, from what they say, will... Uh, from day by day, they'll, their clothes will be different. Um, so here's Janet. Uh, she's definitely wearing different clothes than before, and she looks different. Um, Matthew looks a little bit different as well. Uh, can I not talk Hello. to you? Hello. There we go. Hello. Nice to see you. I think that's a different voice. Um, well, nice this, weather, ain't it? Just it say sure the weather is. looks good. Whatever. Thanks. See you around. All right. So I really want to get a good look at some of these characters that you can see. The clothing will be different. So if you remember, a lot of the characters look the same. They had the same clothing, but I guess they'll be different. So a lot of the fixes, uh, I know I've already seen some posts. Some people said they're, uh, the optimization is a lot better. Some people are only getting 30 frames. Now they're getting 60 frames. So... You know, they fix a lot of bugs and, of course, optimize the game. I'm not going to go over all that stuff too much. Uh, the rendering in and out, hopefully that's better. No more flickering. But let's get right down to some of the stuff that we are going to be uh, interested in. So, like I was saying, wide number of code optimization, CPU side mostly, but some GPU as well, meaning your graphics card. Um, there is a new tractor. I don't know where it is yet, what store. We'll have to go find out. But now we're getting to the stuff. New P NPC models, textures, and anima anima <laughs> animations. New PCs tends to be similar to old ones in appearance, but better quality and with better skeleton. So as you've probably seen in some videos when you talk to them, sometimes their eyes look like zombies popped in and out or in that situation there. New NPCs can speak, mouth movement, and blink their eyes. They also yawn chew and so forth um i don't know can we eat together is that what you're saying uh all females have the hair and or hats um decreased possibility of glasses uh i didn't really see many glasses on my characters so i don't know additional sets of different clothing npcs can switch parts of clothing i.e only pants or shirt any or all so basically they can just change their clothing randomly, not limited to the whole set at once. Different NPC faces with same model, 
clothing and face persists throughout the save. Um, so I guess I thought they said they can change, but I guess what they're saying the clothing stays the same throughout a save. I guess what I don't know if they mean like if I save the game and reload it. Uh, what's her name? Ella will be wearing the same clothes, but in the next day she might have different clothes on. I think that's what they might mean. Um, clothing and faces persist throughout save. Fix missing mirrors in some vehicles when buying concrete, plaster, and building material store. Players are given 24 colors to choose from, which is good. Uh, looks like we, sounds like we can change the color of the house and maybe the interior inside the house, like paint the rooms. No more gray everywhere. We'll be testing that out. Player can buy plaster of different colors one by one. Materials on the pallets will have the same select selected for him to use. Last chosen color is remembered in the menu, so no need to reselect it. If rebuilding with plaster with a color, player tab menu shows current plaster color on a rebuilding main icon. Painted colors properly, properly load and save. And painted color for plaster and material source properly load save. Um, my main concern is, what does my wife look like now? Um, pretty much the same. Uh, she doesn't have her hat anymore. Uh, different clothing. Darling? Hello, darling. So she moves her hands, hand gestures and all that. You look so pretty today. You're a real charmer, aren't you? She has the same voice over... Wait, is this her name the same? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Hi, babe. Uh, the one thing Hi, I honey. wish they would fix again, once again, can I stay in the dialogue? It seems like uh, I'm having a hard time doing that with her. Is there something you need, darling? No, not at the moment. Why do I look shorter than she does? I mean, it's a possibility, but I look kind of small compared to her. Thanks. I think I'll she see was you just around. fanning herself there. She's getting hot, all hot and bothered. All right, so before... My house was all yellow, and uh, now it's just gray. I wonder what Timmy looks like in the crib. Does Timmy... They didn't say anything about Timmy. Um, he looks the same. <laughs> he looks the same. Uh, let me head on out to the van. And we shall see... I think I got... Pla well, I used to have plaster on the back of the van. I don't know if it, I'm trying to figure out, do I need to change the color when I buy it or finish coat concrete plaster. If I pick that up. All right. So I'm over here at the store. I've been kind of going around and I've been buying a lot of stuff. And right here is the concrete plaster. So when you buy it, you can color choose which one you want. So it sounds like when you buy it, that's what you're going to get get you can't change the color as you go along which sounds kind of weirdish but that's fine um so if i select that did it did it not buy concrete plaster uh that's the finished coat So I picked that up. Um, can I leave my truck here? I'm going to leave my truck there. Head back here. Rebuild new concrete plaster with concrete plaster. So there is my greenhouse, if you will. So now you have color choices, which is nice. Uh, can I get right there? I can even do the upstairs as well now too. Did not know that. Maybe I could before. So you can actually two-tone your house if you wanted to. Um, but I can't redo the inside though. Um, I can do...
I was like, oh, I can see through the wall now. That's interesting. The thing is, though, you kind of got to, if you want to change a whole bunch of colors, you got to buy a whole bunch of different kind of colors. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, it's getting kind of dark. I'm going to sleep through the night, and I'm going to go back to the store and see, uh, read the patch just a little bit better, and see if there's a way to change the color for the inside as well, because I was kind of hoping for do, to do that. So now with the sun coming up, uh, we can kind of see green just a little bit better. So now you can kind of like paint your house in uh, with the colors that I showed you. So let's hop, hop back on over to the store. I've been buying a lot of stuff, so I need to sell some because I'm, I'm starting to lose some room. So there is the scratch coat. Uh, we will sell that. I need the room. So once again, I came over to the concrete plaster. These are the colors you can choose from. Uh, the one thing I want to do is I'm just going to make it obvious. I want to select this color here. So on the bags, can I jump over here? Yeah, so on the bags, you can see right right below where it says Wallex, you can see that red color. If I come over here, you can see the green color. So you have to be careful which ones you grab. Uh, scratch coat, finish coat. Can I change the colors of tiles? No. See, the one thing I'm seeing in here in the store, I didn't know which one you can change color. So it says press E to buy. Not until you press E does it give you the color option. So I don't know which has what has color options, what don't. Uh, bricks do not. I would assume the ceramic tiles do not. Uh, those do not. If I buy finished coat, nothing. Scratch coat, nothing. Uh, wood glaze, nothing. Uh, ramp is full. Of course it is. Well, I have just bought everything in the store, and the only thing that is color codable is this right here. That's all that's color codable. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to paint the inside, which kind of stinks. But at least we can kind of paint the outside now, so that's a start. So if I pop back here... I have grabbed that purple one. A lovely two-tone. Can you do... Can do that. Can you do the wood? Change the wood? No, you cannot. But you can change the brick. Um, I'll probably have to report the bush. There's a bush here that rotates and faces you. So that's not loading in, right? But like I said, this is closed beta, so things you see here, obviously you might we might see some mistakes, and some things we see uh, will be changed. So right now, it's the concrete plaster is about the only thing that is color codable. It's just too bad that you can't. We can't do the inside yet. Maybe in the near future. I mean, starting with the outside, so it's something. Yeah. See, there's nothing here. Can I paint this strip or redo the strip? No, I cannot. That's fine. Like I said, maybe in the future we would be able to. I'm getting all turned around here. I still got my tile in the basement though. <laughs> still have the tile in the basement. I can't, I can't, if I restart a game, I can't do it. Uh, so yeah, painting the walls on the outside we were able to do. It's better than the, the gray or the yellow, so now we got color options. Uh, I'd say go with purple. That's your best option right there. Had to figure something out. Um, although the textures on the wall seem a little... When you get to a certain distance, they seem a little weird. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, anyway, so there is a new tractor. Uh, I need to run around and find out where the heck this thing is. 
uh, when I find it, I'll bring it back and uh, we can talk. I have no idea what it is yet, so um, time to take some bus stops and see if I can find this thing. Well, would you look at this? I found the tractor and it looks like a nice one. Buy big modern tractor. Um, okay, <laughs> big modern tractor. So it's at the store on the south end of the map down in... Is there actually, a, is this listed as a town? Uh, no, this is not actually a town. Uh, just to the left of Peaksville, right here at that bus stop right here. I just realized this is not a town at all. Um, buy the tractor, so it's 120000 which is really cheap, I think. Um, looks like it's 180 horsepower. All right. see how she rides it's not that much faster but it's not that bad either So now we're just going to take it back to the farm, hook up some things to it, and just see. I'm curious, does anything hook to the front yet? Um, let's turn on some lights here. So on the loading screen, this, this is the tractor that's on the loading screen. But it is a pretty good jump up in horsepower. Uh, what is the, uh, what is that, like a 120? The, yeah, the big tractor was a 120, the small one's what, 96, and this is 180. Alright, so we're pulling up to the farm here. And just to be, give you a comparison from the tractor that we're used to, to now, quote-unquote, the big tractor, as they're calling it, big modern tractor. Let me hop on out here. Um... Yeah, well, when you stand... <laughs> uh, so this is a 134 horsepower, so I thought it was 120. Uh, this is, says big modern tractor, so but we know it's 180. Um, yeah, it, it is bigger. Now the question, uh, I just want to make sure, let's head on to our garage and make sure we can paint this thing. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, so it is paintable. It's not a problem. But what we all want to see is we're going to grab something here. Probably the plow might be the good thing to grab. Actually, do I have a full... I think both of these are full. If I can back up to it, that'd be great. It does seem to have a little bit more get up and go. That's not too bad there. Let's drop that off. We'll grab my magic plow. May have to move the other tractor to get to it. And we'll take it to a field to see how it plows here. Well, the one thing I will say, I chose this field right over here next to Oliver's place because with the other tractor plowing this field, I had it where the tractor always tried to get pushed to one side or the other. This tractor seems fine, and I now I just turned the front axle on itself, so that made it more stable. It's not going to plow faster because the implement does have a restricted speed. But it seems like this tractor definitely handles it better than, than of course, the, the 135 horse. Still wants to go to the left in this field once in a while. 
But it is not as bad as it used to be. Yeah, for some reason this field here tend to push me around a little bit. Not too bad. Uh, it's almost uh, a good enough time, I do believe. So, there's our there's our new tractor. $120,000 for it, which is... Some of you may have to remind me because I don't know what the price of the tractors were. Um, the tractors I bought way early, they were 110000 so I don't know what they are now. So, I, I, you know, to me, this is only like 10000 more, or unless they... I think they might have changed the prices way back when. But I've had the tractor for such a long time, I don't know what if, what the prices of the 135 horse are. I think they may be dropping down to 90000 so yeah, this, you know, $30,000 more for this tractor. Not bad. So I'm trying to see how the rendering in comes in. Uh, the best thing I can remember telling us, so if we drive down to the farm, when the grass would render in, it would render in always weirdly. So let's just take a drive down here. I will say it seems better, but it still seems like it's rendering just a little bit differently than before. Yeah, it's not that bad. Not bad at all. Lower that. Drop that off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head to town and have a look at more of the NPCs here. But I will say there is some texture issues a little bit with painting the houses. I mean, if you get it just right, it's fine. Yeah, just like that, it's fine. If I change the distance I'm at, sometimes it gets a little weird. I don't seem to get it when I'm out of it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's flickering now again. A little bit of flickering. Um, let's go in. We'll just check the cows out, but yeah, this, this bush is... Uh, Yeah, that bush is rotating with us. There's all of the cows. Looks like they're all brown and whites now. So, what we're going to do is head on up to here. That one of the towns, Redberry, is always a good town. I wonder if we'll get requests for jobs. Speaking of jobs. Plow a field, deliver tomato. I'm looking to see if they got jobs. There's a transport job. I was hoping they didn't say anything about adding jobs, but maybe in the future they could add jobs where people want us to paint. So already as we're going to town, you can see people are wearing different clothes. You don't see just like three different clothing styles. So there's David. Most of I don't know. That's not our Oliver. I don't think. Care to talk? Good morning. Uh, well, that camera angle kind of sucks. Uh, that's, that's not going to work. Thanks. Unless I face this Hi way. Hi there. Good morning. Oh, I can trade with this guy. So he's a you're a salesman, huh? I am looking for work. Got anything for me? No. Not at the moment. So at least their mouths are moving now. That's, you know, it's it's definitely better. Uh, it's better also around. that there's more character models. We don't see a lot of twins, triplets, quadruplets, if you will. Uh, different clothing patterns is nice on all of them. So that is a big plus. Uh, makes it more lifelike, I guess is the word that I could use. Um, anyone standing down here at the pond? Yeah, there's a whole group. So usually when you run into a group like this, you always saw like two or three of the same character models. Always late, never on time. Same story every time. So it looks like they may have hired... Sucks. 
Okay, so I think that's them waving. Amen to that. Yeah, okay. Uh, the character models, I will say, definitely Nothing look a lot changes. better than they did before. Amen to that. So before, I think these two would have been trip uh, twins. Do I look like I care? I do. They all do. They don't look the same anymore. I care a lot. Could have got an extra half hour in bed. Um. The guy I'm really curious about, what does Steve look like these days? Oh, Steve is definitely different. Are you taking over for Steve? He usually has me do some packaging. I don't know. So the one thing I'm seeing is it doesn't look like you can change the color of other people's oh yes you can. You can change the colors of the house other people's houses. Now the one thing I was trying to see, last chosen color is remember the menu, so no need to reselect it. Oh, player tab menu. All right, so I was wondering, because it said it, it will show you what color you're at. So you have to go to the player tab menu. And you can see rebuild. It shows me the purple, the purple air bricks. So that's the color that you have chosen on you. But you can now, we can now kind of really personalize our own villages, whatever. We can color, <laughs> apparently we can color people's houses and make it look all different that that I kind of like that part of it um did they change this road this road used to be pavement right now it looks like it's all dirt uh no wrong button that's the wrong game so we'll head back to the home so there is the new tractor 180 horsepower uh, definitely hauls the plow around a lot better. I'm sure it'll haul grain around better. Uh, the bigger trailer has more get up and go to it. Um, character models definitely a lot better. Just remember this is in closed beta. So if you're wondering how did I get it, it's closed beta right now. But from what I understand and what I read, this will be released within, they said, a week or so. So if you didn't get... Uh, access to closed beta keep your fingers crossed that sometime next week you'll you'll have this um, you'll be able to paint the colors of your house uh, have access to the tractor and of course better NPC models as well but yeah the biggest thing I, I do like the coloring of the outside instead of just having yellow or air brick I know a lot of people didn't like the air brick and a lot of people didn't like the yellow but now we at least got a choice um, I'm hoping in an upcoming patch uh, unless I'm doing something wrong I, I, I can't paint do anything with the inside nothing to do with the inside that's the finishing coat and the finishing coat I mean we can go back here and just double check let me out thank you it's been a while since I had to do anything so buy finished coat and you just buy it there's no option for color but once again I can show you the colors that you have uh, so there's three six twenty four different colors you can choose from so not not too bad I, I kind of like that. Uh, some people may wish there's not a black one, is there? No. Some people may want black, but there isn't <laughs> There isn't a black one. Uh, yes. So you can tell by the colors, by the con like I showed you, the concrete plaster. That little stripe right there, right where it says E and enter, uh, that's red. And, of course, we got the purple. And, of course, we got the green. And there's the finishing coat I just picked up. Mortar, plaster, regular. Uh... But yeah, we can't uh, paint the insides yet. Or I'm doing something wrong completely. But that's going to do it, guys. This is the, the update, uh, the closed beta update. Like I said, within a week or so, this should be released. Um, they want to make sure all the bugs are worked out, make sure everything's working fine. Uh, as we saw, the only thing I saw, but then again, I haven't gone around too much, is the bush at the base of our house is not rendering in properly or loading properly. So... 
yeah, you can look forward to this for the next week. Uh, or if you're like me and you got uh, access to the closed beta, congratulations. <laughs> have fun with it. Uh, do If you have access to this and you find problems, please do report it so they, they do know how to, you know, they can fix things. So when it comes out, we're trying to make the game better. Um, if you don't report problems, they're not going to know about it and they can't fix it. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully this video was fun and informative for you and something to look forward to. And uh, I will catch you in the next episode of Farmer's Dynasty. But until then, have a good one.